Yeah. Uh, basically, the idea came through observing the uh, the users online. It's uh, I believe it's a sociological experiment that is going on today with social networking about understanding human behavior online with technology. So what I see that Sonico is, it's an evolution of email because it's something much easier to share specific things. For example, photos, it's much easier to share through Sonico than it is to share just by email. Why? Because in an email, you would have to uh, upload to your email all the photos, then send it to your friends, and then friends would individually send you comments, right? But nobody else would be able to see those comments. And the same thing goes with videos. Instead of having to upload the video to the email and send it to everybody else and just fill, it, fill up their inbox, you can do it directly through the social network. The same with links. So with the same with all multimedia uh, things that you can find on the web. So the first solution that, that, that Sonico solves is that. And I thought that this was going to be a, a communication platform from the start. And I also thought it was very important that when we started this, many people thought that social networking was about young people. And that's something that, that I disagreed from day one. I think that social networking, as Sonico, is about people for all ages, and all interests, and all tastes, all sexes. And um, it has proven to be right, because today in, in Sonico, the average user has 31 years old. And um, this has proven to be a, a very successful approach, in a sense, because we've been able to get those people that are uh, older onto the site and really use the site as a, as a utility. Because we believe that the future of, of, of communicating, not only with your friends, but professionally, but with brands, celebrities, politicians, and everything, is going to go through uh, this platform. Uh, so we also found that for doing this, you would have to make some um, uh, control over specific things. Because if not, it was just a wild west. So that's why we decided to go upon a proactive moderation with respect to controlling spam, controlling photos, and, and allowing people to understand that it's not a site built for dating. It's a site built for communication with people that you know. And that is, for me, something that is quintessential to the core of Sonico, is trying to replicate your online life, your life, I mean your real life, online. And uh, we're just trying to help you out to be able to organize uh, and be able to separate those sections of your life. We believe that technology changes somewhat human behavior, but it does not change the, the human nature. So the human nature, we believe, of, of people is about having uh, some sort of privacy with private uh, uh, people, in a sense, friends and family. There's a section of yourself that tends to be more public. And then there's another part that tends to be professional. And that's what we're trying to replicate in, in Sonico. Today we have the Sonico uh, private profile, the professional profile. And soon we're going to open a, a public profile uh, for Sonico. But trying to make it very easy, always very, very concerned with making it easy for, for users to understand and to navigate and do it and doing it as the site as fast as possible. So with the advertising question, I had another issue that, that I think is very important is that today uh, online advertising is only 3.5% of all the advertising budgets in, in, in Brazil. So the, the, the potential of growth is just tremendous. Today you just have between 25 and 30 percent internet penetration in Brazil. And with the growth phase that Brazil is going through, there's an immense potential, not only in mass, but in the percentage of the amount of people investing uh, online. So we see as a as an incredible market for, for growth rates.